Hello everyone, James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we are going to be camping for the next few days in Arizona. Beautiful Arizona. Of course, it's me and my partner in crime, Cuervo Negro. And then we also have some friends that are joining us. Um, I've known one for several years now. His name's Shane. I'm sure you guys have seen him in several of the bushcraft groups on Facebook and stuff like that. Uh, Avid Outdoorsman. And his girl, Naya, she's going to join us as well. She's also a lot of... Uh, enjoys the outdoors so we're gonna camp eat some good food relax learn some new skills and uh have a good time so right now i'm going to introduce you all to everybody and talk about uh the pack setup and all that thank you for joining me all right so here's cuervo negro my partner in crime and we just crossed the stream a stream to get to our campsite and uh yeah as you can tell his legs are wet so he's gonna do some booyangs to kind of tighten up the bottom of his trousers to not allow water and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what he's doing. He's not wearing his boots this time. And then we got bug spray right here. We got our, uh, well, his Hidden Woodsman haversack right there representing. And uh, yeah, we'll go meet up with the others. Okay, so this is my buddy Shane. We've been friends online for a few years and this is the first time we meet up and he's gonna teach me a lot of skills I don't know. We're gonna make him good at fire. Awesome. <laughs> and what are you doing, Shane? Uh, well, I dropped her boots in the sand, so I was messing the sand off. <laughs> okay. Right now we're just setting camp. All right. And then Nia? Naya? Naya. I'm sorry, Naya. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're drying your boots right. You also got soaked across the stream, so drying them out. Yep. And also an, uh, an outdoors woman. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So we're going to be learning a lot. They're setting up their camp good stuff okay so this is the gear that I'm carrying with me once again we're leaving behind um, the tent and and the ice chest with the beer and all that stuff all the fa uh, all the fancy car camping stuff because I really like to really enjoy myself when I'm camping but this time we're doing a little bit more primitive we're gonna do a lot of friction fire and that kind of stuff once again uh, Shane showed me how to make a blanket pack so this is my backpack and a lot of my gears in there a lot of my equipment and then of course the hidden woodsman haversack with all my the rest of my gears my flint and steel kit ferro rod lighter um extra cutting tools my saw that kind of stuff um hat of course it is summertime it is arizona so this is very important even though personally i hate the feeling of wearing hats but you got to be pragmatic and then another trick he showed me is i have two canteens that are tied together and you just put them between the blanket pack and here they go like nunchucks they're tied together and we're not really worried about water you know being from the desert of texas we that's a big priority that's a big issue here there's a stream just 70 feet away 100 feet away so we're going to be just uh, boiling water uh shane has some tablets uh, i believe as well and uh yeah that shouldn't be an issue This is Cuervo stuff, two canteens, metal canteens for boiling water, making rice, ramen, etc. Spices. This is, this is sugar, by the way. I just uh, had nowhere else to put it, so I placed it on here. This old ibuprofen container, a plastic bag to throw away garbage. Shemag. Backcountry blend coffee. This is uh, my buddy Jonathan Burton, the bearded Burton. Uh, his coffee blend. So we're gonna try some of this out for breakfast. Socks and underwear. Extra food. A lot of instant rice, ramen packets, granola bars. Uh, simple foods. Not you know I'm not getting too technical with the food. And plates. Cutting board. A tarp. And of course, a wool blanket. All right, so Shane is gonna get the fire started so we can start cooking up some dinner. He's gonna go with the flint and steel method. Bye. 
All right, so my turn to remove, uh, to take apart my blanket pack. It's also it's almost heartbreaking because we worked so hard on getting these things as good as we could. So a um, little bummed out that I got to take it apart. But uh, tomorrow or sometime during this camp, uh, Shane's going to demonstrate how to make one of these. Um, he's obviously far more experienced at these, so they'll come out a lot smoother. And he's better with knots and all that stuff. So... He'll demonstrate and we'll have a video on that because this was really fun to make. I really want to start going a little bit more minimalist and not having to worry about sleeping bags and mats and tents and or hammocks and all that stuff. So anyway, open this bad boy up. All right, so here's my setup. So I have the tarp to place underneath to get, you know, grass and rocks and pebbles and all that stuff uh, to protect you from that or if there's moisture on the ground. And then I have a secondary shamog here. Maybe it can help as a pillow or an extra blanket. I am a wimp to the cold, so I know I'm going to need every blanket I can get. Toilet paper, you know, when nature calls. This is my Hidden Woodsman Possibles pouch. And I just have, once again, wipes, soap, hand sanitizer, my razor, deodorant, all that stuff. Our snug pack tarp, all weather shelters. So we're gonna set this up. Um, that way, you know, just in case for whatever reason we have rain or whatever will be, or shelter from the sun in the daytime. And then of course, extra socks because I am a gentleman who enjoys wearing boots and that makes your feet very sweaty and that's about it all right guys so we are relaxing we have the fire burning down and right now we are just roasting up some green chili you already know us so green chili and then we're gonna cook up some steaks so here is the crew All right. Okay, so the coals have died down and here is our food. We have some steak for tonight. We're gonna be eating rather um, simplistic more for, since we're going more primitive these next couple days but for the first night you know just to start it off with a bang we're eating some really nice juicy steaks we have some peppers jalapenos green chili as well as always
All right, folks, so that's about the end of the evening for day one. We, you know, took it easy. We just set up our camp. We ate dinner, uh, chit-chatted, you know, hung out around the fire. Um, but now it's time to lay down and get some rest so that way we have all day tomorrow to film and uh, learn a lot of skills and do a lot of cool stuff. So taking it easy today, soft start, and then tomorrow all the action begins. So y'all have a good night. Okay, so it's the start of the day, day two. This is where all the action is going to happen. And currently we are heating up water. Uh, there's oatmeal over there, and we're going to have some coffee and ramen as well. So everyone's just getting the day started. <laughs> Wake up. Okay, so Cuervo is about to make himself some coffee. The water is just about to boil. And we have the backcountry blend uh, from my buddy, Jonathan Burton, the bearded Burton. So. Nice. So this is my breakfast, fairly simplistic, but still really good, which is just ramen, cut up a summer sausage in there as well, and then of course some cayenne and some regular black pepper. Naya over here is making some ash cakes. So she'll be making some little cakes in a little bit. And Shane over here is eating peppers like a maniac. Okay, so now that breakfast is eaten, we've already energized for the morning. Shane is gonna wash his cups. Just wanna take this grainy sand, get your cup wet, put your sand in, and you're just gonna scrub it around. And this is going to get all your nasties out. You just want to rinse out your cup and do that a couple times. And it'll clean it out pretty fast. Just repeat until you're done. And you can do the same thing to polish off the uh, ashes and the char on the outside. pretty much good there and then it'll just be heated on the fire so you don't have to worry about the uh, water itself because it's just gonna cook it out
So to disinfect water with bleach, uh, you're going to use two drops per 32 ounces. I like uh, to use Nalgene water bottles, and since they have the measurements on them, it makes it nice and convenient. One drop per 16 or two per 32. Uh, one that James filled up earlier is a full gallon, so we'll use eight. And if the water is cloudy or has a lot of particulates in it, then you can add an extra drop per uh, 16 ounces. So if it's cloudy, you can use three to four. Uh, but for normal uh, clear water, you just use two drops. One, two. And then we're going to close that up. And we're going to let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then when it's done, uh, it should smell like bleach. So we'll just open the lid, uh, sniff it. If it doesn't smell like bleach, we need to start over. But since this water is uh, pretty cool and clear, it should be fine. Awesome. So we're going to use eight drops for this one. Alright, so now we're just going to let those sit for 20 or 30 minutes and we'll check back on them later. I have my Titan light from Exotac really awesome lighter oh and now it doesn't want to light <laughs> Alright folks, so we're taking a break, just relaxing, and right now we're just going to be making some lunch. So, Gorbo and I are just filling up our canteens, and uh, we're going to have them boil. Careful. And we're getting fancy with these things. We're, we're not really used to making these, but I've tried these at home uh, about a week, just in preparation for this. And they're not too shabby. You just cut up some summer sausage in there, uh, jalapenos, whatever you like, and... Uh, That'll be pretty good. Mm, All right, no. folks. So half of it was Spanish rice. The other half was some kind of chicken pasta. And then, of course, we improvised, chopped up some jalapenos and some summer sausage to throw in there as well. So let's check it out. Yeah, it's pretty good. That jalapeno's hot. Yeah, not too shabby. Here we have.
have mac and cheese. And Shane's favorite, the summer sausage kebabs, which will of course be thrown into the mac and cheese. So for my uh, dinner, I've got um, shell pasta, summer sausage, chicken bouillon, and cheese powder. So that should be really, really good. It's not as fancy as their rice stuff, but it's going to taste great. All right, folks, morning of the third day. We're making some coffee, some breakfast. I made some more of that rice, instant rice stuff. Just gonna throw in some jalapenos in there. Do the last of the filming today, and then we start driving back home tomorrow. Oh, my cool little spatula. So Shane and Naya came to wash their cups and their plates and get water, and Naya managed to catch a little crawdad. There he is in the shade. Little guy. We were considering setting craw crayfish traps or minnow traps during this trip, uh, but these guys are little, so, you know, let them get a little bit bigger, but that's really cool. That's a really neat little trick. same spot and drill in from the other side and you're going to make them meet in the middle. Locked against my shin. Looking better. Way better. So you want to use the full length of your bow and that's all right. And it is at a bit of an angle right now, so if you want to flatten out this spot, we can do that. Okay. <sighs> Beautiful. Keep that up. You're starting to fill your notch with dust. Now you have your rhythm. Hold that. Stop. You have a call. Very carefully, take your spindle out. Very carefully, I just knocked it out. Right now, tap on the edge of your hearth board. All right, good job. So you're gonna take your coal to your tinder and don't make it drop, just put it in. Oop. But then you add two parts to your coal. <laughs> All right, so tuck that down a little bit. And that'll just smolder for a minute. So let it breathe. There you go. Thank you. All right, now let's get over towards the fire. Now squeeze that very gently around your coal. And when you're blowing into it, hold it above your face. That way you're not getting the smoke in your eyes. And bring your hands down. I wrapped it up on the bottom for you to hold. Otherwise, you're going to burn your hands. Blow a little bit harder. 
The more smoke you see, the harder you can blow. Look at you go. Aww. Yeah! God, that was that was intense. You're going to burn your finger. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <sighs> man. That's a burst right there, man. <sighs> now you just got to uh do that 10 15 coals in a row to keep your uh rhythm. That yeah. That's the best way to learn your rhythm is just to practice and practice and practice. I'm, I'm going to get like, like go until your arm is sore. Day. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm really like, I am so focused when I get home to just practice this like several times a day. Yeah. Like I make a call every single morning before I go to work, either hand drill or bow drill yeah. to keep in practice. So that's what I'm going to recommend. Get up early, like an hour early, yeah. practice your friction fire. Okay. Awesome. All right, let's uh, just put some sticks on there, and uh, we'll end it with the, with the fire here. All right. Hello, everyone. James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, we have been camping in beautiful... <laughs> this guy, <can't watch> <laughs> So, thank you for joining us, Shane. What's up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, let's have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's going to demonstrate how to go ahead and make a blanket pack. So, thank you for joining us, Sean. I was what? I had that one great. All right. So now I've got the pack on. Canteens are going to hang off to either side. And then if you make this pack a little bit larger, you can use a secondary shemog and make a waist belt, just passing it through the spine, tied around the front. So this is a pretty comfortable, uh, easy and cheap way to carry your kit. If you want to go for minimalist style bushcrafting trips, hiking, pretty much whatever you want to do. All right, guys, so it is the last day of our third day here, and we're putting out the water. I'm sorry, I'm trying to... <laughs> we're putting out the fire, not the water. Um, you know, just trying to erase all trace that we were here. We're going to start packing it up, film one more quick video, and start heading out. But uh, I just finished making my first bow drill fire. That was really cool. And uh, we're hungry now, so we got to hit the local town. Especially these ones along the outside haven't been hit as much as the other ones. Feel that one boiling. It was the first one. Oh, that was yeah. mm -hmm. In my infinite wisdom, I was just looking forward to eating a cheeseburger and I put my shemog inside my blanket pack and I needed that shemog for straps. So I didn't want to take it apart anymore because I already had done all the knot work and all that. So now I'm just using a secondary blanket as a sash. Uh, pretty ugly, pretty silly looking, uh, but it works. And now we are looking forward to go eat. And oh, by the way, and I have my bow drill set now. <laughs> All right, folks, so that's about the conclusion of this camping trip. We did come to eat some really nice fat cheeseburgers, really nice, and uh, that's about it. So we gotta start making our drive back to Texas. I wanna thank Shane and Naya for being gracious hosts and teaching us a lot of skills we did not know, and we had a great adventure. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, give us a like and comment below if you have any questions, and we'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.